You know, oh. one of the one of the one of the executives that I really looked up to was his executive at um, Geffen, Ron Fair. And yeah. Ron, whenever I worked with Ron, he put he put it in my mind that I could be an executive too. Um, and and because Ron never took an office, all Ron's calls were re rerouted to the record plant in his in his room and he stayed working you know you know whether he was producing something or doing string arrangements or doing whatever he never stopped doing that and then i used to see like other rappers that became like like there was a time in the 90s where rappers were becoming a and r yes for like two weeks and i'd be like they ain't do nothing they took this job and, and I don't see no result. Like, what? okay, now you the head of a and you the a and at this label, but next year you back on the road being a rapper. So I always just thought like, maybe, maybe you are, you can be just too creative for the job and the fear of doing the job poorly pushes you away from even accepting or receiving the low key offers for the job, if that makes any sense. No, it, may, it makes plenty of sense. But, um, you know, even me listening to you speak, uh, you, you, you definitely seem like you might have overthought some of these um, opportunities, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you know, I, I don't, you know, I, I think about it now, like, I don't know. Do a and R's even do their job anymore? Like real, real talk. No, I got no because one of my best friends is an A and R. What you and me know A and R to 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 have been, that's yeah. not what A and R's are anymore. At best, A and R's are. Um, they do administrative work. It's A and R admin. That's what they are. The, the artists are getting their own beats. They're getting it. They're sourcing them from from YouTube and. Oh, anyway, yeah, you gotta. You just do the ad admin work. You show up to the party. You show up to the, the 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 Tuesday meeting. No, the the artist development, the creativity, the, the, the at best, you are a and R admin. You're booking studio time and you're waiting for them to to hand you the finished product. And you and here's the crazy thing about today, you damn near can't even give them direction on. Okay, go back and fix that. Go redo these vocals. We're gonna change this beat, this snare. It doesn't work like that these days. No, so it is what it is. you get what you get. It is what it is. And now no. time also A and R is like a glorified talent scout. You know, they find what's on TikTok, Instagram, whatever, and they they seek the artists out and they, you know, but like a talent agent. You know, you go in and 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 but but you're you're seeking the package. And then the good A&R seeks the package, gets the package, and then says, how can we make this a bigger package? And you know, and then that's when you start pulling in, you know. Yeah, but that that doesn't exist anymore. I'm telling you, it's a different well, world. Or maybe with features. I don't know about maybe music. With the features. Yeah, yeah. Like I know so-and-so's manager, I'm gonna call him, maybe see if we can, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the PO for the hundred stacks for this feature, you know, like whatever, whatever the thing is. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. I don't know. It, it would just, it would be the easy. I don't know if it's a hard job compared to old school. No, I, I think, I think a person like yourself who's such a creative. It, it, it would not be a fulfilling job. Um, you know, somebody who's used to sitting down, developing talent, uh, sitting next to talent, helping them write, producing for them. Like, I don't know that that you probably would enjoy where it is today. What I, well, what I would do, what I would do if I was in that position, I would provide a safe environment for them to be creative. Meaning, all right, wherever you're at, if you want to get away from all of that, my office is the studio. 
you're on this label, you have full access, whatever YouTube beats, whatever, whatever. And I think you could, by osmosis, give that a and direction because you're, they are in your space creating. Instead of you waiting for something, it's already there. And you could be like, eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and you just, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I think that's the only way that I would, I would definitely want to provide the label and the artist with a space to be creative at a space, a space with, and, and I'm talking about a full creative space. So I don't know if that turns you into a consultant or not, but I'm talking when I say full creative space, like, okay, you can record here. Um, do you want to come up with some merch? We got a design team over here. You want to figure out your show? This place, you know, right here in the back, we got a full thing. You can just, you can figure it all out here if you need this. You understand? I think, I think that is what labels are lacking and I know artists want. You know, at the end of the day, even with today's music, an artist still wants to be an artist. An artist still wants to feel like, you know, you could be, I'm just throwing random stuff. You could be a New York drill rapper with beef. And you now at the studio, all your guys are smoked out. You smoked. But in the back of your mind, somebody can run up in the studio. Right. Kids are going through that. Kids, mind you, let's 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 be serious. Kids are dealing with that right now. Being artists. Why not provide a space? Like, yeah, you ain't got to deal with that over here. Just come out here. I got you. Deal with it here. You know, finish your stuff here. You know, like there's been times, you know, like you know, there's been artists where they've just had personal problems and personal issues and me and the artist got along, and then the a and would say, yo, can you and so-and-so get a crib in Miami for the next month and finish this album? Because in New York, it's just not getting done. Y'all cool. Y'all have these random conversations, blah, blah, blah. You can be cool together in a house <laughs> or go to Circle House or whatever and be away from the influence. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much that's getting done now, but it yeah, should. No. Some of the stuff should because I think some artists would not be in half of the crap they're in if someone provided even just the notion of a safe space. Like, yo, man, you know, whatever. You know, if you don't want to be in Atlanta for the weekend. Come here. Yeah, got you. Yeah. We'll fly you out. You know, just for the weekend. See how much you get done. And you yeah, know, so I, I think it's needed. I, yeah. I think. I think it's needed. Uh, What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.